Hello. Um, I recently had this uh, Linko DR135DX in uh, a few days ago. It belongs to a friend of mine. He's just bought it. He's just came back on the radio. So he bought this uh, Linko. It's boxed. It had the security uh, seal on the side and everything. So uh, it looked virtually brand new. Um, but it was off frequency. It was off frequency um, on all modes. Um, it was uh, around uh, 800 hertz too high on all modes and uh, NSB was uh, so f was so far out though um, on NSB that it was unusable so um, it's, it's it's now back to uh, back to what it should be it's now working okay um, and uh, this video is just to show uh, a, a simple way uh, to tune one of these radios uh, if the radio is just slightly off frequency obviously if it's a uh, if it's an internal adjustment you need, then um, you have to refer to the service manual. But uh, if the radio is out just a little bit, uh, a kilohertz or less or so, um, then um, this works quite well. You will need a radio which is known to be on frequency. In this case, I'm using the Alinco uh, DX SR8. Um, as I said, this radio is um, on frequency, or it should be. I'm into a uh, dummy load at the back. Um, there's no antenna in the uh, Alinco, but the radios are so close together that it should pick up uh, enough signal to uh, be audible. So uh, we're on uh, USB. There might be a little bit of squeal, a little bit of uh, uh, feedback, but um, it's just one of those things. So, um, yeah, there we go. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, transmitting on the Alinco DR135DX. So uh, that sounds pretty good. So what I'll do now is I'll, um, I'll put the radio off frequency. And show you how to put it on frequency. So that should now be off frequency. Hello, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four. So it's around about 800 hertz too high, 405.8. Uh, the readout on the radio uh, hasn't changed because it's not, uh, it's not a true frequency counter. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't uh, count the frequency. It's just um, a glorified uh, channel readout, basically. Um, so the radio is now off frequency. Uh, it's actually transmitting on twenty-seven four hundred five point eight. Hello, hello, one two, one two, hello. Uh, one two three four five, one two three four five, one two. So I have to tune it back on to frequency. Um, if uh, you've got a radio which you which is known to be on frequency, so you can uh, compare the frequency. So you turn the radio off, press the function, turn the radio on, and then press Roger Bleep, Noise Blanket ANL, and Dual Watch, and it'll go into this menu. So when you're on uh, USB, it'll be a U in a window. When you're on FM, it'll be an F in a window. And when you're on L, it'll be an L in a window, and so forth. So we want to adjust uh, USB to be on frequency. The radio will no longer be on 27405, though. It will no longer be on twenty seven four zero five. For some reason, the um, when you when it goes into the uh, service menu, uh, the frequency alters. And I shall tell you where we are now. We are on twenty seven eight six zero. Twenty seven eight six zero is the frequency we're actually transmitting on. Um, as you can see on the uh, counter there, you might be able to. Let me just turn that off. Um, there we go. Well, it's 860 is the frequency we're actually on. So we know this radio is too high on USB. So it's just a simple matter of uh, adjusting the number here. Um, in this case, it's uh, on 307 to go down. So we, we shall move it down a bit and uh, try it again. So to save it, you just turn the radio off. Turn it back on. We should be back on 405. We shall see where it is on here again. Hello, 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 hello. One, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three
two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If it's closer, it's 27.405.38. So we'll do that again. So let's try that. Um, we're on 237 in a window. I can't remember what it was in originally. So we'll try it anyway. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, one, two. So we're on 27.405.10. So we're getting closer. So we uh, do the same thing again, turn the radio off, hold the function button, press noise blank, uh, Roger Bleep, noise blank, get a deal watch, and we'll go back to the service menu. Make sure you're in the proper mode or the mode you want to adjust. In this case, we're in uh, USB. Shows by, by the U in the window. So we're almost there. So the, the channel selector um, does course adjustments up and down, and the clarifier does fine adjustments. So we're very close. So we just want to come down just a little bit. So we'll take it to, let's try 230. Turn it off, turn it on. Hello, hello. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, hello. So it's 405.03, so it's almost there. We'll do it again. So probably around about maybe uh, 2.5. I thought I can't remember what it was originally. So we'll try it again now. Hello, hello, one, two, three, four, five. That'll do for me. That sounds pretty good. Uh, one, two, one, two, test, 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 one, two, three, four. Now let's just check and make sure LSB is okay. Hello, hello, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Still okay on the LSB? USB? Hello, hello, one, two, three, four, five. Okay on USB? Um, AM, I've got the counter showing, so on 405, obviously uh, the dancers around a bit when you've got the uh, modulation going, let's give it a dead key, 405.03, but because, because AM um, has got an upper and a lower sideband, you can listen to an AM signal on USB or LSB, and um, it's called uh, zero beating. So um, if the radio is on frequency on AM, then you should be able to listen to it on either upper or lower. Either one. It shouldn't make any difference. So uh, as you can hear, that is now um, USB. We are on AM. So if I switch to lower sideband, if I switch to lower sideband, then... Uh, You can hear the um, <clears throat> you can hear the carrier there. So uh, the voice is uh, coming through uh, fairly clear, um, just a little bit, but hardly anything. So that's uh, LSB. Uh, yeah. Now we're back to uh, USB. Hello, hello, hello. So there's no discernible difference between USB and LSB. It means the radio is very close to being on frequency for AM. So the counter is showing the frequency counter is showing it's picking up um we put on FM where the frequency won't dance about so much. And we've got we put the sniffer antenna back in place. 405.01. Try it again on AM. 405.01. Obviously on AM when you start talking, the amplitude um, will vary the frequency on the counter. So there we go. Uh, back to USB. Make sure it's all okay because he's coming back. He's coming up tonight to uh, pick it up. So. Um, Hello, hello. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, hello. That's USB. Uh, 
that that is LSB, LSB, hello, hello. Hello, hello, USB. And uh, AM, there we go. You can obviously listen to AM, it might be a bit loud. Hello, hello. One, two, one, two, one, two. For some unknown reason, they decided to put Echo on this uh, Elinco. Same as the Cree 8900. They decided to put Echo and Tone on there instead of something more useful like a mic gain control. So, uh, hello, hello. It's a bit over the top. Um, hello, hello. One, two, one, two. Anyway, um, uh, a simple way, really, to... Um, adjust the Elinco uh, with a known radio that's on frequency. Um, but it has to be a radio that is known to be on frequency, otherwise you're just going to be tuning it into a radio that is off frequency. So you're basically uh, going around in circles there. So anyway, uh, thanks for uh, watching.